So we're going to be continuing the uh, explanation of uh, object-oriented uh, concept uh, in our programming language. So let's look at how we work with class, object and method. In order to make a new bank account object after we have created a bank class, so we want to make a new object. Say for example, Johnson walks into the bank and he wants to uh, open an account. So the bank, um, the bank staff will just open the program which is to make a um, which is used to make a bank account class for any very new client and the the new account is going to create is an object from that class so we'll say behind the scene behind the scene even though the bank account, <laughs> the bank staff is not going to be writing any codes it's just clicking buttons but behind the scene this is what is happening when you when you create a new account let's call that account Johnson this asterisk I'm going to explain what it means then after remember how we used to declare a variable we can say int x int number of tires int uh, years in the number of days in a year so remember how we usually declare a variable so this is very similar so we say bank account which is a the class then the the object then we use these two methods which we're going to explain the alloc init method we're going to explain that in a minute so don't worry about that for now so let's explain the bank account is the new class we create which we write in xcode then we create a new object from this bank account blueprint so we create a new object which is a johnson account the way you create an instance of an object is to use the asterisk and i'll explain pointers soon we're going to explain pointer in another video because this uh, asterisk means it's a pointer so bank account Johnson account just as is similar to declaring integer type you see it's the int number of tires the same way we say bank account Johnson's account this declaration are similar but we are we are creating an object of type bank account just like creating number of tires as an integer type I'm very sorry if I'm repeating myself but <laughs> I just want this concept to be stuck in your mind because this is the where the real programming starts that is where the, that's where the similarity ends because the pointer did not by the asterisk uh, with object we have to allocate a space in the memory for the new instance of our class that's where we use the alloc method so this alloc method alloc basically means allocate so what happens here is after we declare a new object of type bank account class we need to create a space in the memory that will hold these variable this new variable Johnson account so then we call an alloc method on our bank account this is what you do you just say bank account in square bracket and you say alloc this will allocate a space in the memory so this allocates a new space in the memory for the object that is created and finally we have the initialization of the object the statements below initializes the object and make this ready for use so after we allocate a memory then we need to initialize the object for use remember when we declare simple data type like integer double float char we never used we never need to use the alloc and init we never used to use this we just say init uh, we just say integer number of tires int number of tires we never have to call any methods to allocate a space in the memory because all those are done automatically because they're simple data type but objects are not simple data type they are actually complex stuff so this is how you have to so you have to know how you do this thing but it's not very difficult or if you can just follow this uh, this uh, particular style all the time then uh, you won't have a problem so you declare an object of a type of a class then you allocate a space in the memory then you, you initialize that object so uh, this allocated space in the memory for the object that is created and finally we have the initialization of the object the statement below initializes the object and makes it ready for use so we call the init on the object remember you don't call the init on the class you call the init on the object and then unlike simple data type where you declare a variable like this it takes those three steps declaration allocation and initialization to make an object from a class but unfortunately this is but fortunately <laughs> i say unfortunately but fortunately there's a simpler way to combine these three statements into one 
so you can use this one line to actually achieve the same three step so it's the same thing just like the same way we do just like the same way we can say int x and then x equals to 5 remember we can do that so the same way we can do uh, uh, this one step instead of two step right here so we can say bank account Johnson account so we're creating a new object and in immediately we have a bank account alloc in one square bracket so this will be initialized first and it will return a Johnson account object a space in the memory for it then we initialize it so this statement is actually similar to these three statements above so it depends on what you want to do I prefer uh, whichever one is fine but uh, just to make your life easy for you. This combine all the steps into one line and this is how you would do it most of the time. So this is the way you would do it most of the time when you're declaring. There's another way to do it but this is the best way to declare a new object from a class. So I hope that makes sense. Actually let's look through our code and see how we've done it. So as you can see after I've created a new class at the top here, these are all the codes for the class. Then inside the program, inside the main, I have declared new bank account here first first of all I uh, create uh, I declare the object then here I call the alloc method for the new account and I call the init method if I don't do any of this the program will not be ready and as you can see I've used the second method for the new account too for the second object I use the uh, the combined cases so here the alloc will be um, will be performed first and then the init will be performed on the return. So this is how you uh, initialize an object uh, and make it ready for use. I hope that is clear and I will see you in the next video.